Yeah, it's morning in LA. So go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Yes, we are Italian musician, Italian cellist, uh, coming both from South Italy and uh, we are living in Switzerland. Um, of course, as soon as I got your request, I was excited because we love America, we love America. <laughs> so we it's wanted listen, to put it to Everybody that. wants to run from over here to go over there. Vijay, the, the side, the oceans, the, the, the mountaintop, all of the four seasons that you guys get. So trust me, you're not missing that much. You're good where you're at. But for visiting, I highly recommend everybody should always travel, you know, and, and come and visit. But trust me, you guys got it good. You guys got it good. So here is my yes. question for you guys. Yeah. I see your Instagram. I yes. see that you guys do a lot of stuff. Tell, tell everybody what is it that you guys do professionally. Okay. Yeah, we, as Fulvia said, we are both professional cellists, so we both teach. Uh, we are both performers, first of all. We do concerts. We are teaching students. Uh, me, personally, I'm teaching in university in Italy. Um, and we are, I'm, I'm playing also as a principal cello in orchestra. So then doing recordings, uh, writing books. Uh, so our life is uh, multi-sides. No? We, we do we are musicians, but we do with different things together. Yeah. Yes. I, I saw one of your last videos. You guys were sitting together. I loved it. Why you don't? Why you guys don't put more of those? Because I was I was watching. You need to get more of that on your page. Big time. Oh, I mean, you, you speak about this uh, uh, one minute video on Instagram. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. That's a competition. Uh, yeah. The piece that you heard is um, actually a piece that I wrote uh, for a movie, American movie. Um, actually, I wrote four pieces. So one is one of them, and uh, we are participating in a into a Italian competition, and that's why we were requested to make just uh, one minute video and not the all uh, the all piece. Uh, you are right. We are uh, uh, more in direction of making more professional videos, rolled in London with arranged pieces, really professional. We are not like. Uh, more yeah. streaming but uh, we already played a concert on the famous the violin channel uh, on facebook of, um over easter we played uh, one from one hour or that one yeah, hour there a, a live a streaming concert, streaming concert easter, yeah. uh, always uh, yeah. on an american uh, platform yeah. and uh, yeah we enjoy it yeah. of course yeah, i mean uh, your youtube videos are getting a lot of a lot of hits so here is my question there are a lot of musicians or a lot of individuals that like to be in music field, but in the initial phases of them exploring that, they go through a lot of challenges and turbulences. What were a few things that helped you guys to stay in for a long period of time? Because I see a lot of people give up too easy and too early in their career. What are some of the suggestions that you guys have? Uh, okay, first of all, I have to say that um, the musician's life is very competitive, you know, like all the artists. So since you are a kid, you are uh, under pressure you know, because you have to be better and better and better and never hands because our profession is always searching for beauty, searching for perfection, searching for, uh, for heart. You know? uh, so I think uh, we are trained as young to be competitive and to do always our best. So I think one secret, if we can tell a secret, one rule can be always do your best. Do put all, all your energy in what you are doing. And before that, discover which is really your own talent. No, we are lucky as a musician because we practice an instrument as kids, as we started with, we were like 80 years old. So, but many people, they... Uh, so we, we have time to discover if that, that is our talent or not. No? Many people, they, they, do, they attend school, normal school, and as 20, they still don't know uh, what, what, what shall I do uh, as an adult no? in my profession. No? So we are lucky no? to discover as a so young age, which is our talent, which is our... Uh, so we, we try already to figure out the, the, which is the way to, to reach our goals. So my suggestion would be... Yeah, give you all of your full energy and discover your really talent, what you are really talent for, and uh, never give up, <laughs> even if the, the, the world is very competitive. So, 
especially in the artist and in the artistic industry there are some, sometimes there are many selection like auditions like actors no we can we can do this uh, parallelism with the actors life yeah no? it's uh, actually musicians and yeah. actors we are also passionate for uh, american movie we yeah. we know all the actors the biographies we we read a lot california it's the land of the right? land. <laughs> <Los Angeles. laughs> so they do a but you'd be surprised even though i live in la We usually don't go there as often as we should where the studios are. Uh-huh. I go there because I have a lot of uh, friends that are in that industry and I go there and check it out. And when you go look at it, it's a little bit different than what you see in the movie, what happens behind the scenes. Behind, yeah. But don't be surprised if a lot of people in LA have never been around it where we don't go there, we don't go check it out. We just do our own thing. It's something that I think a lot of people outside they envy us because we're here and we don't even take advantage of it. Like I've been to a big studio movie set like twice in my life and it's only like 20 miles away from me. Like you could get there within like 20, 30 minutes, very close by, right? But it's, but we are bothered because they're always closed the streets for the movie. So it's always creating more traffic for us versus <laughs> the enjoyment. <laughs> so we always look at it we're like, okay, you guys do your stuff, but just, Come on, finish it off fast and go there. So here's my other question. If let's say I want to become a musician and I want to look at your life with a magnifying glass, what is your routine on daily basis? Because a lot of people look at actors, actresses, musicians, any artists, or they, we look at it as, oh, it's really fun all the time. But for you guys, it's a job, it's a task that you guys do. What is your routine on daily basis? How many hours do you work on your craft? Yes. Um, essentially, as I said, I like to, to be the, um, uh, to, to, to take a biography of an actor and to, to, to make this, um, uh, yeah. To, to get inspired. To get inspired because uh, what make the actors? The actors started a lot. The actors... Um, uh, learned good how they can speak uh, and in in america it's quite important to speak a really good english or when you That's are right. acting and also they they present themselves into an audition even if they are famous even if they are older and if they get a no they don't get a no personally they get a no because of the role and they know that uh, how many actors they didn't get a part um, there is really a lot of uh, um, example about uh, famous actor like Brad Pitt didn't get this role but uh, it was given to another person uh, and they were already Brad Pitt because um, of uh, the first thing to have and that is something that we have since child we have to say is this a determination never yeah, give up be the that doesn't mean that we didn't have black period we didn't have period in which we were lost or in which we fault um, other opinions because they said you should do that you should uh, find this way and that's why we yeah. would like to to say that um, mm-hmm. from um, since uh, three years we started also to spread pop music to new generations and we we have this amazing contract with Hal Leonard this is the biggest american company that sell musical line we had this contract with Halido music that has 2 million uh, youtubers and subscribers our record, label, our record yeah. label and this is bigger than Deutsche Grammophon or, or, or the, uh, Decca it's because many, more, many yeah. of many followers um, but uh, um, yeah. before this three uh, before 2016 We were just classical musicians yeah. playing in orchestra, like doing our job, um, getting our money, playing in tournée, and playing always other music, play always for uh, other people wish, uh, under our conducting um, and uh, uh, advices. And we didn't, um, I had the impression we, me personally, maybe Massimiliano not, I, I was living a life of another person. I was uh, often unhappy and not fulfilled. Um, and then when we decided to create this, this project, Mr. and Mrs. Cello, it was just by, for, for fun, just yeah. playing some pop music. And then we got this uh, 
inspiration to write uh, Ludovico Einaudi music. I don't know if it's known in America, but uh, Ludovico Einaudi is a, a, a pianist, a really known pianist. And we decided to arrange this uh, music for two cellos. And apparently, Alido Music uh, found online, as online, and uh, also an American uh, movie director found us online and asked to act in his movie. <laughs> it will that be is awesome. Next so it's not, it's not that you guys sit around, don't do anything. You have to practice. And just like he mentioned, you have to work on your craft because from outside, when we look, we're like, oh, that's fun. But it can't be always fun because you're working on your craft. I wanted to, to answer to your question. Yeah, it requires a lot of discipline, you no know, self-discipline. So practice, practice a lot uh, for all life, it never ends. And uh, but it's uh, if you practice hard, you work hard with um, uh, attitude like I have to do that. That uh, doesn't work. You have to practice and to do your job and to do your best with love. I think that's that's the secret. So you have to be to have passion for that. You have, you really have to love to sit there five hours a day and search for beauty, search for perfection, and try to, to realize your dream, to have a goal, to have a vision and, and go for it. That, that's the... I think no, that's... The, the rule of the success, also you are writing on your uh, Instagram stories uh, that I love so much, also sharing on Facebook and WhatsApp, uh, is not just um, discipline, is to put your energy level higher is to uh, to this conscience to be part of something great and you are on the right path because if you uh, are willing to do something and you are you want to be the best and you want to uh, yeah also you don't love also you don't appreciate other uh, works and you don't you are not generous enough you want to get um, enough that, yeah that's a sex yeah no, i and feel like for musicians I feel like it takes 20 years to become an overnight success. I think you have to do the work. You have to put out good content. And just like you said, one day somebody's going to discover you and then they're going to say, okay, let me help you take it to the next level on the business side, not on the music side. So, and, 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 and I see that, but I got to be honest with you guys, the musicians and individuals that are in art, the ones that understand the business are really thriving because right now there's a lot of opportunity to go to the consumer direct. So you could call the label company, the movie, like you could go direct. Yeah. Nobody stops you from YouTube, all of that. So I could definitely see your music really blowing up because when I listened to it, I was like, this is cool. I want to get 15, 20 minutes every day on your Instagram. So let me save it. So when you do have it on, I'm gonna, I want to check it out and share it to other people because, you know, instead of me going on YouTube and finding a thousand other videos, I already found your video. So I want to follow that. And so that's what I was asking. Like, it takes time, but also when you put the content out, I think the rewards are going to be there for sure. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with you. I think we are very lucky, our generation, uh, in a sense, because like, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, before internet, before social media, it was difficult for an artist to be discovered, no? As you said. Now, today, we're lucky you can put a video on Instagram or YouTube, and you can, you can reach many people your music that is coming from your heart, from your recording studio, from your concert stage. It's reaching many people, and you don't need uh, some, uh, an agent or somebody that is uh, making, uh, you know, uh, it, it, you don't need to get fancy. No. Simple. Just put it out. Yeah. No more record. Listen, you're sitting on a couch and you want to play some music. Put it in there. Put on a live session. I get on. I enjoy. It's like really like the other day I was telling one of my friends. Nobody cares what the background looks like, where the house is at. Like nobody cares about that stuff. Yeah, if it's a nice scenery is okay, but. Why do you care about my what my office looks like? Like I don't care what your background looks like. They just want to hear the music. They just want to hear the content. So when you make it authentic like that, that's like old school. That's why a lot of people travel to older places where they're like like old school. I, I'm like that. I don't like this new stuff. I like old school. You know. So you get there and it's direct. 
here's the here's the content enjoy it so i think to me that's the new that's the new style yeah, yeah yeah we got a lot of comments on youtube especially people are listening our music from argentina or uh, or uh, also uh, united states uh, or asia and they are writing us many nice comments and for us it's a, such a pleasure i think it's really the success for us to reach these people you don't know you never met maybe you, you will never meet personally but your music it's going to 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 all to their houses their, uh, the best thing yeah. is when they write you saved my life today i was so sad oh, yeah. i mean that that's what uh, gave us a lot of motivation yeah. to write other we already did this year 2022 albums crossover 3 is just pop music uh, amy winehouse Luz capaldi sam smith and uh, classical cello duets are just a classical album and um we we got this motivation because we saw that because uh, what you said at the beginning is is uh, important a musician starts a project invest money invest uh, all time, the time energy. energy and then after two months three months he saw uh, it, it doesn't get the results he would like to have quickly and then he gave he gives up and that's why uh, it's important to never give up and waiting because universe always rewards people who are working with discipline and with passion of course we are yeah. worker when we have to make a recording we yeah. <laughs> traveling a lot for the perfection we fight a lot as we are a couple is is terrible <laughs> because don't worry i have fights with my wife too i have fights <laughs> all the time too. but it's not fights she has valid points i have valid points and sometimes they clash, so it's totally fine. But listen, I want to definitely thank you so much for taking this time and being with us. I'm looking forward to hear more of your music, and I would like to share it as much as I can. So whenever you guys get a chance, send me some of your clips. I would definitely love to share it. And hopefully, definitely stay safe, because I want to hear more music from you guys. We will take this suggestion. We will make more um, Instagram yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. Definitely more on Instagram. Definitely. And we hope Anytime. to come to LA really soon. <laughs> Definitely. When you guys come, let me know before you travel. Yeah. I have a full studio. You guys could record, do the videos. We could do everything over here. Nice. Talk. Okay. Thank you thank very you, much. Thank you. Don't you. Talk ciao, to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Take ciao. care. Ciao, ciao.